Manchester United are stepping up interest in Napoli striker Victor Osimhen after another scouting trip to Italy last week. Reds representatives were in Naples on Wednesday for the Serie A Leaders Champions League quarterfinal against AC Milan. Although the hosts went down 2-1 on aggregate, Osimhen was on target in the second leg, which ended 1-1. That made it 26 goals in 31 games this season. To date Napoli have not opened talks on a new deal with their Nigerian international, who has two years left on the contract signed in September 2020 on his £70 million arrival from Lille. There is a suggestion that delay is down to United's continued pursuit, with the Italians not against the idea of cashing in now. And the fact Eric Ten Hag and staff are still monitoring Osimhen's form so closely indicates they view him as an authentic alternative to their top target Harry Kane this summer. United are expected to lead the chase for England and Tottenham all-time record goalscorer Kane. Should he refuse to extend his contract in N17 and force the North Londoners to sell rather than lose him on a free a year later? But the Reds are wary that Spurs chairman Daniel Levy could drag his heels on any transfer negotiations as he holds out for at least £100 million. Ten Hag's need for a prolific world-class striker is clearer than ever after last week's Europa League disaster and, whoever owns United come June, they will need to get the Dutchman won. Kane may guarantee goals galore but, at 31, he is entering the twilight of his career. That makes Osimhen, who will cost a similar amount, a more attractive long-term investment. But, at the same time, unlike in the hunt for Kane, the Old Trafford hierarchy face fierce competition from all their big rivals, home and abroad, for the African sensation. Which is why Champions League football next season is imperative for Ten Hag's troops, whose only route left to qualify for Europe's Premier Cup competition is via a top-four league finish. United go into today's FA Cup semi-final against Brighton still reeling from last week's Europa League quarter-final thumping at Sevilla. However, the Carabao Cup winners were sitting fourth in the Premier League table coming into the weekend.